earth, who sustains and governs us, and who produces various fruit with colored flowers and herbs. God gave us the earth to take care of, so in turn it could take care of us and feed us. But some things in nature that are good can be scary. Have you ever been scared of something that was good? Here's a story about Father Solanus and Brother Bob. They both liked something that was good, but getting it is kind of scary. Brother Bob was a caption fryer, and he loved applesauce. The monastery cook said, Now, Brother Bob, if you'll go get me some apples from the orchard, I'll make all the friars applesauce for dinner. smiled and held out an empty pail to Brother Bob. But Brother Bob was sad. If I'm going to get my favorite food, applesauce, I have to face my greatest fear, honeybees. You see, bees scared Brother Bob to death. He was afraid of getting stung because it hurts. The cook held out the empty pail to Brother Bob. If you want applesauce, brother, I need apples. So, Brother Bob took the empty pail and trembled as he walked to the orchard. He filled his pail with apples as quickly as he could, and thank you, Jesus, there were no bees. Where were they, he wondered. He listened for that horrible buzzing noise, but all he heard was a squeaky violin. He looked around a tree, and there, sitting on a bench near the beehive, was Father Solanus. He was serenading a swarm of bees. They were flying around him as if they were dancing in the air. In fact, there were bees riding up and down on his bow, and Father Solanus seemed so happy about it all. Brother Bob screamed, Father Solanus, look out the bees! Father Solanus stopped playing and looked up. At that moment, hundreds of bees flew straight at Brother Bob. Poor, poor Brother Bob. He dropped his pail of apples and ran for the monastery. But bees fly faster than any friar can run. And suddenly, Brother Bob was swatting bees as they swarmed around his head. The faster he swatted, the faster they came. The bees landed on his arms, the bees landed on his neck, and the bees landed on his head. They stung him over and over again. Brother Bob cried out in agony and fell to the ground. His hands, arms, and face began to turn red and swell up. Oh, poor Brother Bob, he was in grave danger. Meanwhile, back at the hive, Father Solanus stood up and saw what was happening. He put down his violin and walked over to the beehive where the bees were swarming. Then he did something amazing. He rolled up his sleeve and stuck his bare arm into the hive. He didn't have a beekeeper suit or helmet or anything to protect his skin. Suddenly, a swarm of bees flew out and circled around his head. They landed on his face and arms, but none of the bees stung Father Solanus. Wow, how is that possible? Father Solanus knew exactly what was wrong there were two queen bees in the hive, and the bees were confused. That's why they were swarming. Then Father Solanus pulled his arm out of the beehive, and there, sitting on his finger, was the 
extra queen bee. He walked her to a nearby field, and the queen bee flew away. All the bees that were swarming followed her, including the bees that had attacked Brother Bob. Father Solanus walked over to Brother Bob and helped him up. Poor, poor Brother Bob, said Father Solanus. He put his hand on Brother Bob's brow and blessed him. And all of a sudden, the most amazing thing happened. All of the swelling on Brother Bob's hands and arms and all of the redness on his neck and face went away. Even though he was all better, Brother Bob was scared and started to run back to the monastery to hide from the bees. But Father Solana said, Stop, brother, you want applesauce, don't you? So do I. And with that, Father Solana helped Brother Bob pick up his apples, and together they took them to the cook so they could have applesauce for dinner. After dinner, Brother Bob was examined by a doctor. He said, those bee stings should have killed you. How is it possible you're still alive? Brother Bob just smiled. He was very thankful that Father Solanus had blessed him and saved his life. designs.